Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh And a very good morning to each and every one of you I hope you stay healthy and fine And stay fantastic during this online learning Alright, now for today we are going to look at page 34 Of Pearl's textbook Alright, page 34 and we will look at this topic of cultural awareness, right? What is cultural awareness? Right, cultural awareness is pengetahuan tentang budaya orang lain or budaya. Pengetahuan tentang budaya. What culture that we are going to look at today, right? We are looking at New Zealand, right? We are going to know a little bit about New Zealand maybe some of you already know about um, New Zealand but it's okay no harm to learn more all right now let's look at our learning objectives okay in this lesson you will read about a natural disaster in New Zealand kamu akan membaca tentang satu uh, disaster what is disaster disaster is ke, ke keburukan or keruntuhan disaster natural natural is nam semula jadi okay natural disaster in new zealand di new zealand right and after that you will talk about your the earthquakes in your country now we are in malaysia do you think we have earthquakes do you still remember what is earthquake? All right, earthquake is what is it? Gempa bumi, right? Now, let's look more into New Zealand. Okay, let's look at your facts box. Right, your facts box. Actually, um, at the corner of your book, it's at the top right of your book. Okay, New Zealand, it is a country, adalah sebuah negara in the Pacific Ocean. Di Lautan Pasifik, 1,500 km, 1,500 km east of Australia. Okay, what is east? Okay, east is, okay, if it is in Malay, U is Utara, S is Selatan, B is Barat, T is Timor. Okay, in English, U is North, S is South, B Barat is a West, and Timor is East. Okay, so it means that. It is in East, this Timor, Australia, Australia, right? Many earthquake, banyak uh, gempa bumi happen there, yang terjadi di sana. Okay, New Zealand also has more than fifty volcanoes. Ada lebih lima puluh um, volcanoes. What is volcanoes? Volcanoes is gunung berapi. Okay. Alright, as you can see here on the screen, this is New Zealand. Alright, this is from your Google Map. You can you can Google it later. Okay, as you can see, um, this is New Zealand. Alright, and this is Australia. Alright, as you can see, this is Australia, and then this is New it's New Zealand. Alright, so again. This is north, west, right? Sorry, sorry. North, south, west, and east, right? So, this is where New Zealand is located. And where we are, this is us. We are in Malaysia, right? Okay. And then, okay, look at this beautiful New Zealand. Look at this beautiful 
mountains with snow right and look at this uh, hobbit like hobbit okay i believe that maybe the hobbits i mean like the uh that movie was um was filmed here all right now if you see here it looks like a little bit of uh, it is for me personally i think this looks like um kinabalu mountain okay uh, this is very interesting and beautiful okay whenever that i went i want to go to run now from from kb and then it will i really love when 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 you know i see the mountains of uh, mount kinabalu it feels like we are in new new zealand <laughs> all right now it says just now that new zealand has lots of volcanoes Right, so these are some of the volcanoes in New Zealand, right? What is eruption? Eruption here means uh, letusan, right? Volcano eruption meaning letusan gunung berapi. So this is the um, one of the uh, eruption, letusan, right? And look at this volcano, right? So these are some of the volcanoes, right? Now, let's look at our learning today, right? Our main, um, our main learning for today. So we will be reading about a natural disaster in New Zealand, right? So let's look at our page here. Now, before we go through this, I would like you to look at. The word check first. Let's look at the vocabularies first before we go through a lesson. Let's look at this word. What is shake? Right? Shake. Shake is gonchang. Right? Gonchang or goyang. Alright? That is shake. But what what about drill? Okay, drill is um practice. In this text later on, you will you will see it is the meaning is practice latihan okay remember when we are at school we have fire drill practice okay we have fire drill so fire drill is the practice when fire happened so this drill in this text it will talk about practice another definition for drill is gurudi right but we are looking at the meaning of practice okay now the next the next word is emergency. What is emergency? Okay, emergency is kachema kachema sign. Next is collapsed. Collapse. What is collapse? Collapse means run runto. Right? Collapse. The next word that we would like to see is scratch. What is scratch? Right? scratch scratch is a uh, luka okay it means luka or actually scratch is like um like that like scratch scratch right that is actually scratch okay chaka right that is scratch the next word is bruise bruise means luka as well right and for scratch it is more on uh more on scratch with chakar right like chakar bruise is luka right kecederaan brick i know some of you know this word brick means bata right batu bata so this is these are some of the new words perhaps that you will learn you will see in this text right now let's look at let's continue our lesson okay this is the title of our text today earthquake in christchurch okay la gempa bumi di christchurch di new zealand okay so you need to look at exercise 1 here Okay, look at the pictures of Jay and his house after 
and earthquake. Where are the pictures? Okay, this one. Okay, this is the picture of Jay's house. Where is Jay? Here. His name is Jay. Okay. Right, and this is his house. Look at the picture. Now, when you look at the pictures of Jay and his house after an earthquake. Okay, lihat picture gambar-gambar Jay dan rumah dia. This is the house. Rumah. Okay, this is the house. After earthquake. Selepas gempa bumi. Can you guess? Bolehkah kamu teka? Where he was, di manakah dia berada ketika earthquake happened, ketika gempa bumi berlaku, right? So, I would like you to look at that and answer the question, okay? And don't worry, we will look through all of these, okay, while we listen for ex uh, when in exercise two. Right, well, where that's what we are going to do now. Okay, so for exercise two here, you will need to read and listen to Jay's story. Okay, lihat kepada cerita Jay, right? Here, okay, here, and then here, here. These are the stories from Jay, which was been which uh, he'd been interviewed by a reporter, all right? Okay, and then after you listened to the story, you will check your answer to exercise one, okay? Now, I think I want to help you more. I believe I need to do it First, with you, I mean, translate it with you before you actually listen to the audio. Alright, now let's look at this. A few years ago, beberapa tahun lepas, a terrible earthquake, okay, satu kejadian gempa bumi yang teruk, happened in the city of Christchurch in New Zealand. Okay, telah berlaku di bandar Christchurch di New Zealand. It killed 185 people. Ianya telah membunuh 185 orang. Okay, but Jay Watson had a lucky escape. Okay, tetapi Jay Watson had a lucky escape. Telah dapat melepaskan diri dengan bertuahnya. Okay, now let's look at the text. Right? Because that's what we are doing today. You will read a text about this natural disaster. Remember? Okay. Now, let's look at the reporter. The reporter asked, What were you doing? Apa yang kamu sedang lakukan ketika when the earthquake happened? Ketika kejadian itu berlaku? Apabila gempa bumi itu berlaku? Okay, what Jay said. Okay, I wasn't at school that day. Saya tidak berada di sekolah hari itu because kerana saya sakit. I was sick. I was sitting on my bed. Saya sedang duduk di atas tilam, di atas katil. When I heard a terrible noise, apabila saya mendengar suara atau bunyi yang teruk. Okay, and the whole house started shaking. Dan satu rumah. Okay, mula shaking. Shaking means bergegar. Okay, and then the reporter asked, what did you do? Okay, apa yang kamu buat pada ketika itu? Okay, and then he said, I realized it was an earthquake. Okay, saya sedar bahawa ianya adalah gempa bumi. So, I quickly got down on the floor. Jadi, saya terus uh, pergi ke lantai. Okay, di antara my bed and the wall. Between my bed and the wall. Di antara katil saya dan juga uh, wall is dinding. Okay. I thought that was the safest place. Saya uh, rasa itu adalah tempat yang paling selamat. At school, we often have earthquake drill. Okay, di sekolah kami selalu ada uh, gempa bumi punya latihan. 
So, we know what to do in an emergency. Jadi, kami tahu apa yang perlu dibuat ketika uh, kecemasan. Okay, then the reporter asked, what happened next? Apa yang berlaku seterusnya? Right, and then what Jay said, suddenly, tiba-tiba, uh, the wall of my bedroom, dinding bilik saya collapsed. What is collapse just now? Collapse like in this word, collapse is runtuh. Okay, tiba-tiba, bedroom saya punya, uh, bilik saya punya, wall, dinding, collapsed, runtuh. And I fell out of the house. Dan saya terkeluar daripada rumah. I fell about 10 meters from the second floor on the house into the front garden. Okay. Jadi, saya telah jatuh okay, ter, uh, lebih kurang 10 meter daripada second floor. Second floor meaning tingkat 2 of the house di rum, uh, rumah kepada front garden. Front means depan, garden means taman or ke, um, halaman, laman. Okay, and then the reporter asked, Were you hurt? Adakah kamu tercedera? Okay. At first, I thought I was seriously injured. Pada mulanya, saya ingat saya saya telah mengalami kelukaan atau kecederaan yang teruk. But I actually only had a few scratches. Tapi saya hanya ada beberapa um, scratch, luka, luka tercalar, beberapa calar and bruises on my back dan beberapa kecederaan kecil di belakang saya I was really lucky saya sangat bertuah then the reporter asked again how did you feel apa yang kamu rasa pada ketika itu right then Jay said scared saya takut okay and not just because of the fall dan bukan hanya disebabkan jatuh tu Okay. Lots of bricks fell on top of me. Banyak batu bata jatuh di atas saya. While I was lying on the ground. Okay. Ketika saya terbaring di atas tanah. Okay. Our next door neighbor, kami punya jiran sebelah, who is a firefighter yang merupakan seorang ahli bomba, Okay, put me out from under the bricks. Telah tarik saya keluar daripada runtuhan batu-bata tersebut. My mom couldn't believe that I was alive. Mak saya tidak percaya yang saya um, selamat daripada runtuhan tersebut. And then the reporter asked again, How did your life change because of the earthquake? Bagaimana kehidupan kamu berubah disebabkan gempa bumi itu? Then, Jay answered, Well, we had to move to a new house. Jadi, um, okay, kami perlu pindah ke rumah baru because there was so much damage kerana uh, terdapat banyak Kerosakan, damage is kerosakan to our old one, ke rumah kami yang lama itu. It's a, it's in a different area, ianya di kawasan yang lain. But I still go to the same school. Tapi saya masih pergi ke sekolah yang sama. And it's only got one floor, so I feel a bit safer. Sorry, I I feel a bit safer, right? Dan ianya hanya ada satu tingkat Jadi saya rasa lebih selamat Right Now this, um, Those are what the meaning of the text Now we are going to look at exercise number 2 here Okay You will need to read Okay we had read just now Kita telah baca sama-sama just now Right And now I want you to listen Teacher Mahu Kamu dengarkan Jay's story Okay, and then I want you to check your answer to exercise one. Okay, what is the what is the question? Again, here this is the question. Okay, 
Can you guess? Bolehkah kamu teka where he was, di manakah dia berada? Okay. When the earthquake happened, apabila terjadinya gempa bumi tersebut. Okay. Now I want you to listen to this while uh, we look at the text together. Okay. Unit 3. Cultural Awareness. A Natural Disaster in New Zealand. Exercise 2. Earthquake in Christchurch. A few years ago, a terrible earthquake happened in the city of Christchurch in New Zealand. It killed 185 people, but Jay Watson had a lucky escape. What were you doing when the earthquake happened? I wasn't at school that day because I was sick. I was sitting on my bed when I heard a terrible noise and the whole house started shaking. What did you do? I realised it was an earthquake, so I quickly got down on the floor between my bed and the wall. I thought that was the safest place. At school, we often have earthquake drills, so we know what to do in an emergency. What happened next? Suddenly, the wall of my bedroom collapsed and I fell out of the house. I fell about 10 metres from the second floor of the house into the front garden. Were you hurt? At first, I thought I was seriously injured, but I actually only had a few scratches and bruises on my back. I was really lucky. How did you feel? Scared. And not just because of the fall. Lots of bricks fell on top of me while I was lying on the ground. Our next-door neighbour, who was a firefighter, pulled me out from under the bricks. My mum couldn't believe that I was alive. How did your life change because of the earthquake? Well, we had to move to a new house because there was so much damage to our old one. It's in a different area, but I still go to the same school. And it's only got one floor, so I feel a bit safer. All right, so we had listened to the J, the story of Jay, right? Now, I want you to check your answer to exercise one, All right? Now, in exercise three, I would like you to read the interview again and choose the correct words, right? Baca lagi sekali interview uh, interview di atas and choose the correct words. Pilih perkataan perkataan yang betul. Okay, J try to escape. Cuba untuk melarikan diri. Protect uh, protect means to Meng, memprotect meng, meng menyelamatkan protect means menyelamatkan okay himself diri dia sendiri right so this is number one number two J fell out of a window J telah jatuh keluar daripada tingkap through a wall melalui dinding okay you read again this text and then find the answer number 3 j was badly dengan teruknya not badly tidak teruk hurt terjejas or luka in the earthquake di dalam gempa bumi tersebut number 4 J was helped by someone he knew. J telah diselamatkan oleh seseorang dia kenali. Or a team, satu pasukan of firefighters. 
firefighters is ahli bomba. Okay, between this and this, which one that you think is the correct answer? So you need to read again the text and find the answer. Exercise um, question number five. J no longer lives in the same area. Okay, J tidak lagi tinggal di kawasan rumah yang sama. Okay, goes to the same school. Pergi ke sekolah yang sama. Okay, which one? Okay. Now, example, let's look at number one. Try to okay, escape or protect. Now, where can we see? Let's do it together for exercise um, exercise three, question one. You do your own on two, three, four and five. Okay. So, what did you do? Okay. What did you do? Apakah yang dibuat? Okay. Because that's the answer here. Try. Cuba untuk. Okay. So, what did he do? What did, you, what did he do? Right? So, quickly got down on the floor. Alright, this one. So, what do you think is the answer for number one? Is it to escape or is it to protect? Right. So, by this, try to, to answer this one. Okay. Now, the last question or the last exercise for today is you need to answer the questions, right? This is the cultural comparison, okay? What is comparison? Compare is bandingkan. Comparison, perbandingan. Okay, perbandingan budaya. Okay, compare. Compare the comparison between New Zealand and Malaysia. Now, let's look at exercise number four. Question one. Do earthquakes ever happened in your country now adakah gempa bumi pernah berlaku di negara kamu yes or no okay this one the answer is yes right when you answer yes and then comma look at the question again do so the answer is Yes. It. Wait. Actually, that one is does. Okay. Not do. How you want to answer that? It is when you say, when you see do question, so the answer should be do or does. Okay, if the uh, the question is did, uh, no, the question is have, okay, so the answer will be have or had or has, okay, so that's how you want to answer your question, so for this one, the answer is yes, okay, yes, it does, comma, yes, it does, and then full stop. And then, what about number two? When and where was the most recent earthquake? Bila dan di mana telah terjadinya gempa bumi yang paling uh, recent. Recent means paling latest, paling terkini. Right? So, if you remember, okay, in Sabah, okay, there had been earthquake occurrences happened, right? So, when and where? For this one, you can try to Google and find uh, the story or the news about this earthquake in Sabah.
okay or even if you know about any earthquake that happens in the peninsula of malaysia so you can write it as the answer okay number three do earthquakes happen more in some places adakah gempa bumi berlaku lebih di tempat-tempat lain so what what do you think if you think that yes so your answer is yes i do okay right i think uh what ting 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 okay what you want to ask okay yes i do i think okay earthquakes happen more in some places okay you can continue as for example in indonesia or other countries that you think uh, you know about the occurrences of the earthquake right so this is where you want to relate mer mer relate what is relate relate is type and i want you can relate this today's lesson to your geography list lesson right maybe your geography teacher actually had told you about some countries who had had um, bad earthquakes okay right right that's where we learn right that's where we end our our lesson and let's look again we did read about a natural disaster in new zealand and you will you talk about earthquakes in your country which is in exercise four right before we end our lesson i would like you to look at this right this was the um what 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 happened in uh, christchurch right I will only show you um, this. This is this is this was live. It was in two thousand eleven. People got out of the public transportation. If you remember this, this transportation, this is a tram. What's interesting more is that it only happened for only 24 seconds. Okay. Oh, not this one. This is not really nice. Where was it? It was uh, a powerful 6.3 magnitude earthquake hit the New Zealand city of Christchurch on a busy lunchtime, leaving many buildings as little more than rubble. This one. It was a normal day. Then this was when it happened, right? In New Zealand's darkest day, at least 65 people are dead, many more injured. The magnitude 6.3 quake struck in the heart of the city of Christchurch. Pulling a body um, out of rubble um, that had fallen on a car, people with blood pouring down their faces, just just walking in a daze. No one can be alive under this. Emergency services urge people to get out of the city. So it's just huge. It is huge. Um, you can just see the, the buildings that have lost their facades. 
Australia's offer of emergency help has been taken up. The danger up, is far New Zealand from over. Here, to survivors scatter. Just tremble again and, and then just panics everyone. And, and, uh, and, and then they, they get hits for, uh, for the, for the outskirts of town, really. Standing right in the middle of the middle. Okay, this is Christchurch today, which is um, eight years ago. Alright, so that's the video that is um, for our lesson today, okay? I thank you very much for attending this online lesson, right? Please do your exercises and if you have any questions, do ask me, alright? So, thank you so much. Alright, see you in the next lesson. Goodbye and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Goodbye.